And I genuinely believe that we have absolutely no like fears of not finishing in top four. I think plane needs to crash with all the players in it for us to not finish in top four. You could have said that? anything, bro. Yeah, yeah, but like <laughs> you had to say say that anything. <laughs> Food poison. Yeah, of course. But, yeah. Okay, yeah. coming to coming to Arsenal then. Like AJ, come on. Like, what what are your thoughts? <laughs> like, go for it. Let loose. Yes, I'll, I'll do the positive spin. Six million spin. down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the positive thing first. Wait, first more than more than that, dude. What a what is this? What a celebration! Like, I think we are gonna see the the villain arc of Saka now. Like. you know maturing and knowing that he's the guy i mean i mean little goes on right at that moment where sees the team struggling 20 minutes wolves not dominating but like at least having a lot of chances arsenal yeah. yeah arsenal not really being in the i mean not being able to contest the duels and uh, keep the ball pass it around and then he just turns up pins the player around and then just shoots at the near post and that's what clutch players do right like uh, out of out of nowhere he just kill the game 76 minute went off in 80th so don't know where did that artera came from subbing Sar- uh, saka off and the celebrations i mean the biggest thing is the biggest difference probably is his celebration and havertz celebration right you remember havertz scoring that pity penalty last season and then mm. not knowing what to do where to go yeah uh, yeah and then compare that to this season he yeah. he started the game as if he is the main man so did the celebration went to the uh, we have that uh, you know aura around him so everything great i think raya white odegaard uh, started where they left off last season saliba wasn't up for it but again down to rustiness i have a few players where i feel like i'm a little worried about but let me switch on to nira for the positives first uh yeah thanks bro i i really didn't want to <laughs> say any negatives though dude like kai havertz i'm just saka i know like i knew that like he's he's that guy he can he can do that what he did um he does that all the time uh, but i didn't expect that inner post finish though like that was yeah. just like like uh, even like a little ridiculous for me also usually he like goes on stuff. the other side or something like that and the when the defender is right that on the edge and he's approaching it saka has, has this weird like double step that the defender doesn't even come towards him something mm-hmm. the defender is confused what the hell am i supposed to do yeah it was salah ask yeah salah is the closest salah is the 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 bar that i see saka reaching that's where that's where i see in the future consistently scoring that many goals uh that's where i want saka to be and i think he can do it dude like this is this like every season this guy raises his level every single season i haven't seen one season that he's been better the previous season he's always better the next season um and i think the part of that is just because he works so hard on so many things his finishing his dribbling and everything and he has arteta he has pl- people around him to tell him he also has a really good head on him he's not a he, i don't see him anywhere out partying i don't see him doing you know last year he went to nigeria for vacation so you know how that goes uh he's a humble you know humble guy uh, and i think that's important i feel like that's important in football these days Uh, cuz like endrick's gonna go to shit if endrick becomes big in football i like i swear to god it's not happening even i mean him all i don't know i see signs of like arrogance there but yeah i'm digressing I think, hard yeah. no i think like yeah it it's a bit of a digression but yeah it's it's like everybody's looking for that next big thing ever since ronaldo and messi that rivalry yeah. happened and they're looking I, to I don't like think the next big thing people. is going to come yeah i don't think it that level of like uh, uh, superstardom is going to come it's just going to be functional really good players the saka on the eye is not your mahare is or not your you know uh, he's mm-hmm. more like sala is functional he's going to give you the efficiency that required that you require and if he if he's in your team trust me guys like when he's in your team you absolutely love him like to bits like even vamsi was saying that day if i like just give us saka if there's one player i want from arsenal it's going to be saka no one else like although there are some players who you could take who would you know be better in your team maybe like functionally but still saka is just absolutely uh, amazing but, but tell me like arsenal have one of the best defenses in the league right now you also added your calafiori couldn't play yeah. but still he's one of like a good signing for you guys you have a pretty set midfield probably can do with somebody better than party but 
ओवरऑल योर मिड फील्ड इज सेट डू यू स्टिल फील दैट इन अटैक वॉट यू हैव राइट नाउ इज इनफ और लाइक साका हैवर्ड्स एंड मार्टिन अली और डू यू रियली थिंक दिस इज गॉट अवेन्यू दैट रेमिली आई थिंक दैट दीज अप इन टू माई मेन कंसर्न फॉर दीजन आई जनरली बिलीव दैट वी हैव एब्सोलूटली नो लाइक फियर्स ऑफ नॉट फिनिशिंग इन टॉप फोर आई थिंक प्लेन नीड्स टू क्रैश विद ऑल द प्लेयर्स इन इट फॉर अस टू नॉट फिनिश इन टॉप फोर दैट्स वॉट नेवर हैपन बट बट दैट्स नॉट द यू कैन सेट एनीथिंग ब्रो या बट लाइक यू हैव टू से से दैट anything food poison yeah, food. but yeah, go ahead <laughs> but 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 i think i have three three issues with arsenal right now i think first of them is party obviously and i feel like he might just be on okay let me preface it by saying like party needs time to get up to speed of the game so it might yeah, just be on yeah easy i mean usually in the summers like you know ghanians have a lot of jollof rice yeah, sometimes yeah. it needs so, a little, he needs a little bit of time he needs yeah he's still digesting he's he's still digesting them yeah, but yeah. on the flip side he might just be on a fabinho casemiro arc because he hasn't played in one season and tactics team evolve past certain people and the problem with that is we can't take a half pack party because if we are being party and rice then rice cannot just simply cannot cover for party's loppiness just because of the sheer fact of being a six versus an eight and if you're playing rice as six then we i don't know this marino guy maybe he is the solution box to box midfielder and if he is great where rice can play at six but if he's not then we i personally feel like we lack creativity in the midfield and that stems that kind of like forces our left sides to still be dysfunctional again mm-hmm. prefacing that by saying that it might be solved by timber or calafiori who might make you know those inroads from the defense it might and... also be solved by party coming to that level again right because he's yeah perfect. no 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 exactly exactly 100% 100% pa- party But... like 100% is perfect with rice i hope you agree with and that and 100% 100% my whole worry is and again that's what i'm saying it's not a big thing big red flag but it might i hope it doesn't play out the way i fear it might within party is a fabinho of to a last last season or casemiro of last season that's my biggest worry because we don't have i don't think jorginho can play against every opposition so he's a you know fit part player my second worry is saka replacement i think we need somebody to cover saka not the same level but somebody who can arteta can trust because arteta doesn't trust nelson and we have seen that time and time again he's a great player but arteta just doesn't trust him in when it comes to the main end of the season and my third worry which is i think more than anything else is i think i'm seeing the same old arsenal again same tactics same kind of small problems where we'll blow away 15 out of 20 teams but those 3 4 teams that have been our like you know pain points will still be our pain points and for that i feel like we need a marquee signing where like who can go deviate from the tactics and be like okay i'm going to do my own thing fucking do what rodrigo did today for liverpool we just don't have that player except for sark so those are my three main worries and i think we're leaving a lot to chance of Haaland and De Bruyne getting injured again as they did in the first half of the last season to be in the race and I don't think we should so that is my main worry overarching worries after seeing the first game quickly i just want to respond to yeah. that i feel like uh, i'm i i disagree with like your eventual conclusion reason being that city lost a lot of players they lost gundogan they lost julian alvarez they lost mares uh, who else did they lose this year uh, no, they only lost and, they only lost julian, julian alvarez, alvarez and no they were the going to lose addison but they didn't they lost to went to I mean, switch but that doesn't count so. honestly gundo and um, Gundo was last season. Important. Gundo was last season, not Gundo this season. Gundo was last season. Treble season. Yeah. He was right. just Alvarez. Anyway, they, they haven't really they except for Savio, Savio or Savinho, whatever the hell his injured. name is, keeps changing yeah. every every day. It's just like he signed for Man City <laughs> and now he's Brazilian. Uh, so basically other than that guy, I don't see that they've signed anyone or they're willing to sign anyone what's happening with them and we have strengthened in defense and we are going to strengthen in midfield don't forget that arsenal scored the most goals last year right they did right uh, but i mean sure. yeah, they just, just the to counter just year. to counter that point and city scored uh, most goals and they bought haland yeah that's fine after. they yeah okay fine but then after that they didn't score as many goals as they scored when without haland right they won um, the treble dude we, yeah okay fine uh, but <laughs> But okay, fine. I'm just talking about this season. I'm not talking about City. It's a different team. It's a different situation. They're yeah, just a different beast. I'm talking about this season. I feel like Havertz is one of the best strikers in the Premier League and in the world. I think we don't think about it often. We just like dismiss him. He's so good uh, in the air. He's really good uh, with the uh, uh, holding up the play. 
he has a really good attitude he has a really good celebration i just love it overall <laughs> he's a superstar which has been not recognized by chelsea or anyone else and he became a meme after you know being in chelsea all of the 60 million stuff all of the all, all of the jokes but he doesn't deserve to be he scored to almost 20 goals last season he's already started with one goal he scored for germany he was like one of the top scorers in the euros he's done nothing to suggest that he's a flop or he's even like average he's been as good as we want him to be for 60 million he's been a bargain every arsenal fan would say that um yep. and he his level is rising he's 25 right he's 25 years old he can become better and better and better he's just going to become really good and all of those reasons combined i don't think it's too much of a concern even if we don't sign anyone crazy now we should we should but yeah I think the same I don't I mean Havertz is Havertz I'm nothing against it I don't think our at- starting attack needs any replacement absolutely not I think we need a body yeah. that can make a yeah, difference we need it a can body be, that's yeah. it yeah it that's can be a cross by saying yeah any yeah. of the three positions it it yeah. can be a forward then Jesus can shift on the right or left but we need a body in any of yeah, those three we are positions. not we Arsenal shouldn't be looking for a needle raiser right now because we don't yeah, need but, a needle uh, raiser and, needle mover uh, but i think yeah. my biggest problem is we are not giving anybody a new puzzle to solve at this moment and by that what i mean is like if you look at guardiola he always brings a new attacking addition he moves his tactics around that person a little bit to the game they bought doku they bought creelers they bought like i don't even remember who they bought he's in before that but guardiola but always does that you see calafiori right you see something like that calafiori is not an attacker you have to mm-hmm. give sure. committee defenses managers you have to present them with like something new that is different mm-hmm. from last season i think we are presenting the same thing this season marino might change it hopefully he does hopefully party just does party things and i'll be fine